0101-8273. Yes, welcome back. If you're just joining us, it is AM Chat Special. AM Chat Special Friday edition. It is always special because we always love to kickstart your weekend in our own little way by adding pep to all that you do first thing in the morning. I did tell you at the beginning of the program that we have a very peculiar topic this morning and um, very soon the phone lines will be open so you can be part of our discussion and I also want you to know that I have two very young ladies in the house who would help me on this journey this morning. The topic this morning is what is the price of a woman's head and what is the significance of the hijab? What is the price of a woman's head, the significance of the hijab? Now, before I introduce my guests in the house, this is what I got. The hijab is the dress that covers the adornment of the Muslim woman. The Islamic definition of a hijab is the dress that covers whatever might arouse instinct. It will keep a woman safe, not only in our own society, but wherever she goes. Hijab is also a veil traditionally worn by some Muslim women in the presence of adult males outside of their immediate family, which usually covers the head and chest. And with that introduction this morning, I want to introduce my guest at the house on this series on the youth. Yes, I'm running this series on the youth. These are friends of the house who have come to do their internship right here on MITV. They are young undergraduates. And my first guest this morning is Zainab Adebayo. She's to my left in the studio. Zainab Adebayo, she's from Choir State Poly. And a major is mass communication. How are you, my dear? Hi, my it's so nice to have you. Okay, and my next guest on the show to my right is Fatima Elebute. She is from Lego State Polytechnic, and a major is food technology. How are you doing, dear? So nice to have you, young beauties, with me on the AM chat this morning. Feel free, feel relaxed. And uh, you know the video, uh, the music video that we showed on uh, Omaomi showed a uh, tradition of the Shakiri people talking about tradition often as Africans. Uh, I grew up seeing my mom cover her hair even though she's not a Muslim. Even when you go to, to church, you expect her to cover your hair. Uh, you know, when you go to church, covering the head is something that is peculiar with the African culture for a woman. I'm asking this morning, what is the price of a woman's head and what is the significance of the jab. I'm going to start this morning with Zainab. Zainab, yeah, as you can see, my lovely beauties this morning have the jab. Now, I'm going to surprise you. We can't start the discussion with me actually wearing my jab. And for this morning's discussion, there you go. If I don't get it right, I don't want anybody to laugh at me. I brought the jab too. Can you help me, Zainab? Can you help me with this? Come, come and help me. How do you fix this? Mm. Like this? Yes. There you go. I have my job so I can be with my sisters this morning. Do I look good? Yeah. Does it look good? Yes. Okay, so we are ready to go. So Zainab, tell me the significance of the job to the Muslim woman. The hijab is our You have to be loud, girlfriend. The hijab is our pride. You're not talking loud at all. The hijab is our pride. Okay, we can hear you. Can, can you hear her? We can, we can barely hear you. Feel free, girl. Go on. Okay, the hijab is our pride. Okay. It's a modesty. It co we covered our head, our chest. So it saved us from the society because wherever we go, this is what they know because maybe when I'm com going out, going somewhere, people will be like, oh, Elijah, like that. So the job is good for the 
Muslim ladies, women out there. Also. Okay. Okay, um, Fatima, tell us uh, your understanding of the job because you're looking all radiant. Now, people see uh, people wear the hijab, and, you know, and sometimes they wonder. You Sometimes you have the longer one that actually floats. That, that one is called Nicole. They, we have another one that they used to cover their face. Okay. The, um, that one, therefore, in Yoruba, we call it a layer. A layer, okay. Yes, so they use it, the veil to cover their face. But the one we are putting on is called an hijab. Okay. Yes. Is there a difference between the Aleha and the and this one? Is it for single women or no, or cut across both single the, and married? Um, the Alehas, they are those people. Maybe we call them tablik. Okay. Because they are deep into Islam. Okay. Like they cover their face because of their beauty. Okay. Like they are, they, they are so beautiful. Maybe their husband are afraid to lose them out there. Okay. Like no, no men should look. At my wife, okay. so they do it like to protect their wife okay. from going out and whenever they are inside, also. Okay. So the hijab is for we young ladies outside, so we have to dress normal, no putting on of tight jean, but we can use it, we can wear it on hijab and on gowns mm -hmm. like that. So. Oh, okay, Fatima, what's your take on, on the hijab? Uh, the significance of the hijab to 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 society, the significance of the hijab to to a woman, even a Muslim woman. All right. Firstly, hijab is a traditional view worn by ladies or women in Islam. So the significance and the significance of hijab is it it helps to eradicate um, extramarital affairs. It's it helps in stability and preservation of marriage, families. Mm -hmm. it's, it helps to eradicate rape. It says it, it won't give a, just any old guy a privilege to come to you and just arouse you or talk to mm. you in India. It helps in, I don't know how to put it, it, it helps in modesty a lot. We need to cover our body, mm. our air, just to protect ourselves for security reasons okay. and the likes. This is interesting, people. The job is to protect the woman, to prevent rape to prevent molestation in society uh, by men. And um, right here with me, it says, hijab is an Arabic word, meaning, meaning what? Banner yes. or partition. It also has a broader meaning. It is the principle of modesty and includes a behavior as well as dress for males and females. The most visible form of hijab is the head covering that many Muslim women wear. Please, um, if you're joining us, you can call in and be part of this discussion. We are asking what is the value of a woman's head, the significance of the hijab. And I have my guest in the house, Zainab Adebayo from Choir State Poly, and of course, Fatima Elibute from Lagos State Poly Technique. Okay, okay we've talked about uh, what the hijab stands for. Uh, could you tell us, uh, Zainab, more importance of the hijab? Where uh, is, is an Islamic talent, right? What more can we get from wearing the hijab? Uh, let us see. I think we have a call. Hello. Hello, madam. Good morning. Good What's morning. Your name Good you morning to you. From? My name is Monty Udoka. Okay. I'm, from, I'm speaking from Yanopaja. Yanopaja. So please go ahead. Yeah, from from what you are saying now about the jab, why is it that the Catholic nuns use the jab too? Mm. So that's so why I'm asking you. Why I'm asking you this question? From research I did, what the jab means, none of them there have said it. Okay, what does it mean, sir? Thanks for calling. What does it Very mean? Very good. The purpose of the jab is to prevent dust. In all these East Bloc countries, they use it to prevent dust, sand, entering their ears, eyes. That is why you see that the job is not restricted to only Muslims. You see, Catholic nuns, they use it too. But for some purposes, some men that are very selfish, they tend to use it to say they protect women, their wife's uh, beauty, so that they do not uh, rape them or chase them or this and that. But the major purpose of that job, for the origin, is to prevent dust from entering their eyes and their, ear, their ears and their head. 
That was the purpose. Thank you so if much. If you for doubt me, you tell them. Okay, so you have that um, opinion from our caller. He says that the initial, that they actually carried out um, research that the initial purpose of the hijab in the Middle East because of the desert is to actually prevent dust from getting into the head. But I can assure you that I have Muslim young ladies here uh, and I want to ask a question. Is this in Islam? Is it, uh, is this actually a tenant of Islam? Yes. The hijab. Yes. So there you have it, covering of the head with a hijab is a part of the tradition that comes with being a Muslim. And like I said at the beginning, it is not only common with Muslim women, even with Christians, when you go to church, you are expected to cover your hair. The Catholics take it very strictly, you still cover your hair uh, when you go to church. Apart from the fact that it is religious, Covered. So we're asking this morning the prize of. Hello? 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 Good morning. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hello? 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 I can hear you. Hello? I can hear you. Go ahead. Okay. Hello? So sad. That uh, looks like an international call. Please call in and be part of the discussion this morning. The prize of a woman's head, the significance of the hijab. So I was asking Zainab to tell us more of, uh, you know, what uh, what the hijab entails. Hijab is good for the Muslim ladies mm. out there and here. Yeah. So I think. The hijab is good for all Muslim ladies because I can't go out. I can't do without my hijab. Okay. Why? Why not? Because it's my pride. I love it. I love putting it on wherever I go to. Because if I put it on hand, I should before putting on an hijab, I must know how to talk, how to express people out there. Be like, oh, she's putting on an hijab. Mm. She don't know how to talk. Okay. She's mannerless like that. So we girls putting on hijab, we should have the manners of approaching people out there. Okay. Because some people do be like, all those people putting on hijab, they are maybe should I say like the outsiders. Mm. The love covering their hair okay. is beautiful. To put on an hijab is so beautiful. I can't do without my hijab okay. though. So That's I, think, I think out there is is good for ladies out there to put on their hijab. So I would advise all ladies out there to put on their hijab. Okay. So and okay. I can't go out again like okay I'm getting a Muslim name I'm Zena. People will be like Zena we are not covering your hair. Okay. We are not like this. So I advise ladies out there maybe they are wearing Zena Fatima but kids not putting their hair. Hijab is beautiful. So I advise them to okay, school. that's the uh, other one you were telling us about. Um, yes, yeah, so I think we have another call. Hello? Hello, good morning. I'm Adria much from Abuja. Oh, thank you so much for calling, Adria. So we're asking, what is the price of a woman's head? What is the significance of the jab? What is your time? Hello? Can you hear me? Yes, I'm hearing you. So go ahead. Okay, I want to contribute to what uh, they are talking about. Go ahead, go ahead. Go Hello? ahead, go ahead. Okay. Yes, I'm hearing you, I'm hearing you. What I want to talk about to Jeff is that, uh, about, what, about what the other man that called said. He said uh, it's, to, it's to prevent the door. Basically, hello, are you hearing me? Go ahead. Okay, basically, Jeff. It's a commandment to women from Allah in the Quran. That is one thing. Okay. And then, what, what the other lady was talking about that the hijab is a pride, so they are not going with that. It's because she's used to it. And when you are used to doing something and you are doing it to be in life, you are going to be happy doing it. Okay. And even if you are not wearing it, you won't feel okay. And when we are talking about hijab generally, hijab is significant to Muslim women and it makes you to show to people that this is what we have. So that when you go to public functions, you don't go and mediate. The job is not just for mode of covering the zone. It's to show people that this is what Islam wants, this is what God says, and this is what we're doing. You are you in the job? There are some things that you're not supposed to be doing. And people should not even meet you. Do those things. So those are the those are the things. That those are the significance of the job on Muslim women. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Um,
thank you so much. Uh, on my feet here, it says the purpose of wearing the hijab. A woman covering herself so that a man should know her for a mind, not for a body. That purpose can be traced back to the Quran, Islam's holy text, which encourages women to dress modestly. And the uh, important advantage of the hijab to keep her safe, not only in her own society, but wherever she goes. To keep her safe from rape, incest, harassment in daily life, the security of the society, the closet from crimes. What is the difference between the hijab and the book? Thanks for coming, and of course, Fatima Elibute from Lagos State Poly for Technology. Thank you so much for coming on the show. I'm going to get one of this. I hope they leave this with me. I one person who love the hijab. I love the covering like this, and um, I decided that somewhere along the line, I'm going to get some of this and just cover. I do not think it should be uh, left alone to the Muslim women to do this over the Christian women and everyone should be part of this. Uh, make sure you cover your hair and keep our tradition alive. Yes, my name is Anua Benitia. Thanks for sharing this moment with us. Make sure you go out and have yourself a wonderful, wonderful weekend. This is me signing off saying, be 